We're Tyler and Todd, and these are our two pups, Charlie and Eddie. Before coronavirus changed everything, we were traveling across the USA in our RV. But now, we set our home up back in Canada, and today we're headed to an off-grid tiny home that Todd's dad built 20 years ago. It may not have electricity or even running water, but it has a charm and a love that we can't wait to share with you. Come along. I wanna run away with you. Some wood. Do you want to come? Come on, boys. Just like that, our morning tea. Seven hours later. So where are we? We are in a cabin in the woods that my dad and his friend built when I was a kid. And we used to come here every weekend, like through the winter and stuff, but no one's been here for probably three or four years, something like that. So yeah, we came here a few days ago just to check it out. And so pretty back Look here. at this potential. Look at these beams. Look at this open space. She's just waiting for a couple of gates to come and give her some, some beauty tips. <laughs> I mean, a few years ago, if you told me that we would be spending several nights in the woods without electricity, water, a toilet, um, literally anything, I would have said you were crazy. Yeah, but now you were the one who was begging me to come back here. Mm -hmm. And you actually cleaned. That's how much you wanted to stay. Yes, and this thing here, this fireplace... Man, it throws off heat. She throws some heat. It was so cozy last night. Do you want to take the boys and go out? Sure. Let's go for a walk slash explore slash play in the woods. All right. Okay. But before we go, let's give them a quick tour okay. of the place. It's going to be real quick because it's small, but it's everything that you need. It really is. So leaving the dining saloon, <laughs> we enter the living room. Leaving the living room, we enter the kitchen. Leaving the kitchen, we enter the dining saloon. There we go. So there's this cute loft area up here, but it's really dirty and we didn't get to cleaning it. And then down here, we have two bedrooms, which we also didn't get to cleaning, but we have bedroom one and bedroom two. All right, should we take them? Yeah, let's go. All right. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up So I don't know what a spring day in Nova Scotia would be without four seasons in one day. Yeah, it's pouring, but. Yeah. but the boys had fun for a little bit, so that's all that matters. So nearby, there's a natural spring that runs underground, and a couple years ago, someone came up with this contraption that you can pull the water out and fill your things with it. So it's, it's like the freshest water you could yeah, ever have. it's way better than anything you'd get from a bottle. So we need to go fill that up. Ready? In the rain. Do you guys want to go? You want to come? Family water trip! 
think to myself And I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side It's still raining But we're not gonna let it ruin our parade <laughs> This big wet dopey dog Oh, and we got a little wet dopey dog. <laughs> I'm here too, guys. All right, Hi, let's, baby. Let's head back. Okay. I'm a sweet baby. So what are we making today with Chef Tyler? I brought a bunch of stuff, actually. Wait, are you telling me that a gay overpacked? I like that there's more in there that you're like, hmm, I don't need to show this. You're shuffling it all around and we can hear it. We know. So what are you making? I'm just making us turkey sandwiches using veggie turkey. Oh yeah, that looks nice. So piece of that down here there, quality control. Look how wet he is, little mop top. I'm here too. <laughs> you never see a rabbit with glasses. It's getting rainy now. Storm's blowing in, what? Oh, that looks good. Gotta get down real close. <laughs> it's a coach's pep talk. What we've got here is ciabatta bun with a layer of hummus and a little bit of garlic powder. We've got our first layer of veggie turkey meat, some shredded carrots, onion, a layer of mustard, spinach, pickles, another layer of the vegan turkey, with Tostitos, with mustard, and then underneath we've got spinach, a layer of hummus, and garlic powder. I'm telling you, these sandwiches will blow your mind. Nice. That's all you have to say. <laughs> so are you liking it here? Yeah, it's really nice. I forgot about it. Like, we kind of feel bad because this has been here all along, like through university and everything, we could have been coming here, but. Yeah, we've been together for 10 years. Um, Never, never, like, never came here. Nobody's used this place in like a couple years. years. There's so much beauty like in your own backyard, but you're always like, I need to go see it elsewhere. Yeah. A few years ago, we rented a cabin in the woods in Oregon. It's called Rhododendron. It's uh, by Mount Hood. Anyway, um, you're going to want to take I-92. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you're going to want to hang a quick left on I-40. <laughs> It was just a really amazing experience and we were just saying how this is the exact same thing. Part of the reason I feel that we didn't really use it is for the longest time we were caught up in like needing to be like in the middle of it, busy, busy. Yeah, I think we were just like young. Like we were younger yeah. and we didn't have like and I'm glad good priorities and... Yeah, I was thinking about it this morning. So I was walking around in a rain jacket that's probably like three sizes too big for me in my rubber boots, like walking out to my truck, like that was never gonna be a life for me. It yeah. was always like more concerned about how I looked and the appearance and stuff. And just yesterday I was saying to Tyler, like I'm really loving wearing rubber boots. They're so comfortable and you just slip them on, you slip them off, they're not pinching your toes because it's a cute point. Like it's just the simple things. Well, it's super easy to fall into a trap of like being how other people expect you to be mm -hmm. and kind of losing who you actually are. Todd's turning 30 this year. I'm, I'm turning 29 plus one. I'll be 29. And I just really think that we're coming into like a new time where we're really leaving behind who, who we were like pretending to be. Not mm -hmm. that we weren't like being genuine and still following our interests, but- We sacrificed a lot of ourselves for and society, society and other, and and other image people. And like all this stuff, it just, it's not worth it. Life is too short. After all of what's going on in the world right now- It's gonna be a different world. But I think people are gonna like want more of this. Like this is really all that actually matters. Yeah. All of that energy could be spent on like developing yourself and being like a better person and growing mm -hmm. and instead we are like focused on things that distract us so we don't have to look inwards yeah and like i really feel like lately we've been looking more inwards and it 
is like scary at times, but it feels really good. It's very uncertain. It's like the worst time to try and look inward. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, like growth is growth is uncomfortable and growth is like scary. And I I guess what I'm trying to say with all of this stuff is I, a lot of times people use like the material things to distract themselves so they don't have to grow. But mm-hmm. like it's so worth it. Um, real talk while we eat our sandwich. I know. Sorry that that got heavy. We weren't really like planning on <laughs> talking about anything. Mm-hmm. Also, in case you're wondering, the red solo cups are actually water. Mm-hmm. For now. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Cheers. I love you. Let me too. Those pickles. I want to meet Dave. What are the pickles? Oh, famous, famous Dave's. Dave's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Dave. With the fire crackling this morning and the rain, there's nothing better. We didn't get out of bed until 10:30. Very consistent flavor. Mm-hmm. It drives me crazy at Subway when you're like green pepper, and they like put a mound of green pepper in the center. Each bite needs to have all of the things for a good sandwich. There's just no way around it. Same with like you used to work at Subway. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that. I got fired. <laughs> For eating the cookies. <laughs> Wasn't my proudest moment, but I'd do it again. So what are we going to do this afternoon? Mm, I like to play Monopoly. Sure. You won't win. I'll just marry you partway through the board game and take half of what you've got. It's called Monopoly X Lives Edition. You want something sweet, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I don't play around. Like, when we go somewhere... Actually, we got in kind of a fight yesterday. What did we fight about yesterday? You were screaming at me that um, I was taking too long. And Not we- screaming. I get forceful with my voice. For me, I would just dump a bunch of stuff into a bag. Mm-hmm. And then be like, all right, so we've got all these ingredients. What are we going to make now? Yeah. And then I'm the one that has to make something out of, like, a bottle of mayo, two bananas, and a thing of pepper. Like, that's literally the type of shit you do. Mayo banana sandwich? No joke. It's true. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you for joining us for lunch. It's been great. You're going backward. You gotta go straight up. Uh, Eddie, you can't have great. Eddie! Is it no? Nope, Charlie's coming in on the inside. Hey! Hey! hey. We can't just have like a little- Charlie! Where the hell's the cream? That's what I get. Hey! How many grapes are poisonous to dogs? All grapes. <laughs> yeah, but there must be like a threshold. Like, can they have Chardonnay or- They're allergic to alcohol, huh? Mmm. I was just looking for a drink of Betty. In these isolated times. Alright, you guys. We're gonna go. <laughs> we'll talk to you after. Where you wanna go? I am all about adventure times. Another drink and I'll go anywhere the way you smile. Like a flash. playing Monopoly, but it's the really small kind. It's a travel size game. <laughs> so we have different strategies. Starting my collection of some high value targets. Todd's more of a low life collector. I'm a slumlord. <laughs> but I've got to get out of jail free card. So you know what I've always wanted to own in Tennessee? That's all you got left to your name. Well, I've got all these properties, so we're, I was looking to refi them anyway. Liquidify some of my assets. Liquidify. <laughs> so Tyler is making it very difficult because he's putting all these houses up, like the little real estate investor he is. Todd just landed and had to pay me 360 bucks. Took out another mortgage to pay that one, but it's all good. He got so confident and ahead of himself. Look at his mortgages right now. One, two, yeah, two dollars. I just wanted to like. I have a fifty. Oh, sorry. Fifty-two dollars. That's your that's your retirement funding, but you're willing to use it. Listen, you've got to spend money to make money out here. I just wanted to update everyone. 
Well, you're updated, so. I've already several times caught Todd shortchanging. One time it was a mistake. Once. He's the banker. If you don't ask for your money when you um, pass go, he doesn't tell you. Ain't my fault. What do you think? You go to a bank and someone's sitting there looking at people at the stop sign? Uh Uh-uh, honey. This is real life. It turns out the full amount was there. But we still keep an eye on him. How much is a house? It's 200 um, each. 200 times four. 800. 800. Where's the money? The bank would like to check it. (laughs) Six, seven, eight. Would you like to show it under a special light? Here. Make general repairs on all property. For each house, pay $25. For each hotel, pay $100. You may want to get a calculator for this, hun, because it's going to be... Let me see the rules of that. It's going to be a lot. The bank hates it when you're late on payments because we'll come in and we're going to take your TV. I don't care if your dog's sleeping on the couch. We'll take the couch and the dog with it. We're getting our money. $700, please. And don't forget to tip your bank staff. So those two have been refinanced. No point of playing board games anymore because I'm just a failure. Next time. Next time, yeah. Alright, let's make some food. It's hard to be this real. We can play our favorite song. Dance into it all night long. With you, I feel. I am gonna make some sesame tofu. Ooh. And I just made like a little mixture of this, um, it sounds super weird, but the Everything But Bagel Sesame Seasoning Blend. So good. Um, from Trader it? Joe's. Trader Joe's, yeah. So I use this sometimes when I don't have sesame oil. And then um, some garlic powder in with some olive oil. And then I'm just going to cook that on top of the stove. Nice. And then slice the mushrooms and then just cook the noodles and then just mix it all together. So I have everything cut, everything prepped, and then that's my water to boil. Shanghai noodles. Had them flown over today from Shanghai. This is our onion and our mushroom and I have it with the sesame seed and some garlic powder. It's gonna be good. I'm excited. I'm gonna go open a window. <laughs> Why are you trying not to laugh? Because it's so hot! I think I can't even stay over there. Dinner's ready, and we're watching um, Tiger King. It's so good. We watched the first episode, and we really don't know who we're supposed to like and not like. I think I have more than you. That's fine. You're so sweet. Anyway, it looks so good. It smells even better. Light's too dark. That's okay. All right. Good night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Morning. Planning. I know one thing for certain. I need a skylight in my life. I know one thing for certain. I need an air mattress in my life. This is really comfortable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We woke up halfway through the night, though, freezing because um, the fire went out, so. And one of us braved getting out of bed. This guy right here. To light a fire. Yeah. So have you found living off-grid? Good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... A little solar would be nice. Yeah, I was (laughs) going to say the electricity. It's kind of hard to see in the candlelight. I don't know how people did it for hundreds of years. But yeah, it's been great. It's kind of nice and peaceful. Very quiet and like... Very quiet. Relaxing. And the boys absolutely loved it. Charlie has gone to bed at like 5.30 both nights because he's ran so hard in the day. He's like, oh, I'm pooped. (laughs) Since I did the fire, are you going to get up and get tea started? Sure. Well, our camera is at like 10% battery. We're just gonna go enjoy the rest of the day here. Anyway, thanks for joining us, and we hope that you and all your loved ones are healthy and safe. Hanging in there during this time, it's, yeah. Yeah, I think the whole world is starting to go a little loopy from from quarantine, but yeah. And until next Sunday, bye. bye.
Join us next Sunday as we figure out our longer term plans and build some new dreams for the future. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you then.